we're gonna start with a warm up and um, I'm gonna after the warm up we are going to um, go through some grooves and postures we're gonna uh, learn some of this and after that it's when we are going to do what I said before so Afro-contemporary with lab and F Efforts, and we're going to explore and I'm going to guide you um, into an improvisation but I will explain you everything um, while we are going through the class so if everybody are ready I'm just gonna start okay so I'm gonna stand up and start so if you can stand up with me find a comfortable place and parallel feet like as uh, wide as your hips feel comfortable in the stance uh, drop your arms for a second uh, close your eyes and everything that you have in your mind just let it go and focus on your breath and on your body Starting from the feet, ground your feet, open your toes. Feel the energy coming from the floor all the way up. And open your eyes and put your hands between your belly button and your groin. So we're gonna do breathing from our diaphragm first. So when you breathe in, your diaphragm expand and when you breathe out I would like you to think about your belly button that it's getting closer and closer to your lower back so then you can engage your abdominal muscles so breathe in breathe out and when you breathe out you feel your belly button almost touching your lower back and that's where your abdominal muscles need to be. Now I'm going to do another type of breathing that is going to be useful for us when we engage our abdominals, which is breathing from our lungs, okay? So instead of opening your diaphragm, what I would like you to do is to breathe from your lungs. Okay, so then you can keep your abdominal muscles engaged. You can put your hands here or you can put it down, however you prefer. So breathe in. And breathe out. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. Last one, breathe in. And Cool. So breath is going to be a big part of the class. Also, in this warm up, I'm going to remind you what muscles you need to engage so that we have the safest possible practice, pelvic floor. So think about, you know, lifting and like sucking in. That is the feeling. The other feeling that we've just tried is engaging you know thinking that your belly button is going closer and closer to your lower back but also think about lifting and and bringing your uh this part i don't remember how to say in english anymore your ribs here we go uh, in yeah so lots of things going on um last thing that i would like you to do is soften your knees yeah, something you need for a moment. Engage everything that I've asked you to engage. So lifting your pelvic muscles, lifting your abdominals, your core muscles, open your shoulders, your chest. And now, I'm just gonna show you from this side. So if you're here, just try and slightly tilt your upper uh, body slightly forward. This is a position that we're gonna use a lot. And so in this case, what you want to do is really thinking about the back of your legs, your glutes, and this part that needs to be 
engage so then you are protecting your lower back yes we're gonna use different levels try not to break your lower back so still maintaining the abdominals very very engaged awesome we're gonna start our lovely warm-up so are we ready let's go parallel position we're just gonna do some roll downs to start uh, moving our spine a little bit so roll down two three four five six you can play seven eight stay here and stretch your legs if you can breathe bend your knees Slowly come up, feeling each vertebra. Yes, I last thing that I need to see is the head coming up. Let's try again. Bend your knees. Feel each vertebra. Yes, I and stretch. with your knees facing forward. 
to feel how this movement of the knees and the legs will affect your upper body. This means that so how this movement affects our shoulders and our arms, yes I keep on breathing. Have some stability. 
go to the other side and just drop. Breathe. Roll up. Yes. And again, stretch to the other side. And stretch the side of your back and drop. Stay here for a moment. And roll up. Awesome. I hope you feel a little bit warm. I'm just gonna explain a few things of what I've done and we move forward. So I gave you one groove, which I call, I mean, it's a bounce really and truly, okay? And that's where we started. Uh, a lot of the things that I do really have a, uh, um, like I work a lot with feeling the floor, yes, and different ways in which the information that comes from our feet and our legs can inform our upper body. Uh, so we started with this, right, which is a simple bounce, bending and stretching. I've asked to slightly tilt the upper body to have the right positioning. This is, if we think about levels, is the first level we can really go and uh, explore this position. But for now, we were here. I asked you to feel this bounce, and I asked you to release and let this movement inform your upper body. So if you start from here, and you feel, you breathe, and you feel relaxed into it, you will realize that at one point your upper body will start moving because this is this energy it's like coming up and it's informing this part the second thing that we've done it's a variation of the first bounce um, so we start with the same idea we're bending and stretching our knees but what I've asked you to do is to think about this image of the train, right? And think about this motion. So like it really feels like you're sitting, yes? When you are doing this, you're sitting and coming up, yes. And you never bring your upper body up. There is this constant feeling, yeah? And if you think about this idea of the energy that keeps on flowing, I have in my head the, this image of a circle. Because if you see, the energy comes from the floor and you give it back to it with your head, right? There is this constant motion. And this is the base for a lot of like, especially Caribbean, movement based like forms, sorry. Um, I have studied and loved and love Yambalu so much. And this is like the base of what it is, yeah? But that, there's also another layer there that we're gonna do, which is undulation. I just wanted to explain this to you so then you have also a bit of a reference. So, let's see. Okay, we have one hour. Let's go through, are you all okay? Is everything good? Feeling good? Awesome. Um, I'm gonna do an exercise really quickly. Um, it, the base of the exercise, you know when you go into a contemporary class, we have the center exercises and there's the tongue views, yeah, you can do it here, here. But the idea is that you go forward with your legs to the side, back, and normally you go to the side again. You come back with the eight counts, yeah? Same thing, to the left, back, la la. We take this structure, but we use the Africanist aesthetic, specifically what we've done here. 
So look one second. Remember I asked you to put your hands here and at one point I said open and close. Two, two, three, two, two, three. This is the second groove, is that variation. It's ha, 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 uh ha, -huh. ha, ha, uh -huh. go back. Everything okay? We're gonna try and do it with the music, yes? The base of the movement is exactly the same. So if you watch from here, this is it. Boom. Da da. Da boom. Da da. Boom. Da da. Boom. It's just for me to show you that we can also move with the legs, yeah? We started with this base, but we can also do the same thing moving around the space. Let's go. Let's wait for the musician. Yes. 
come up to stay in that position, so don't stretch your knee and breathe. Now try and initiate the undulation from the belly button, sorry, from your belly, so a little bit further up. up. with this that you can play with okay they still come from young value but also i get inspired a lot by malian dances they have a lot of this so i mix the two and i get inspired by the two in order you know to use an experiment with my arms the base it's still this one, yes? So just follow me. I'm just gonna move my arms and you're just going to follow my lead. For this, let's have a little bit more of a big, bigger second, I mean, uh, bigger parallel. So it's a second position, yeah? Let's do it parallel. Check that everything is there, engaging everything. to the groove. Remember this? Now undulation. Aha. Now 
drop the arms. And let's go with the chest. Forward, back. Forward, back. Forward, back. Try and isolate the chest.
I decide to go from A to B in an indirect way, I will do this. Yeah? This is indirect. I hope you're with me. Now, time. Fast or sustain. Fast or slow, however you want to call it. Fast, we know what it is. Slow, sustained. Yeah? There is a, that type of, uh, that, Mm, sorry, uh, the element drives your movement. Weight, heavy or light, okay? So, you know, even if you're grounded, because we talk about African aesthetics and we talk about roundness, roundness doesn't mean that you have to be heavy. Actually, I think it's the opposite. But we can explore heaviness and lightness. Like, I can feel extremely heavy, so there's something that pulls me into the ground and I pull my way into it, but I can also be extremely light. Yes, I. Now we're going to introduce undulation. 
circulation within this floating so you can continue adding oscillation or you can go back feel you know explore the undulation by itself for a moment so then you can go back to understanding that movement and when you got it you can add to the undulation that floating nuance
about the leaves 
going down the tree. Uh -huh. And slowly with this movement, you can go forward. Keep on breathing. Feel your body, listen to it, and see where your body needs this stretch. Gently. 
hands. Just bring your hands together. Release some energy. And just rub your chest. Thank you so much yeah, for coming and experiencing the class. Yeah.